Hello, hello, wherever you are. Mm. Welcome to our channel, your channel, 263 UK Generation. Mm. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good night, mm. good morning. Mm. Um, today, we are coming with a different topic, obviously based on our 17-year relationship. Yeah. Uh, it's that series that is continuing, mm -hmm. keeping up with the Kushungos. Mm -hmm. So today, we are going to discuss about... What made us to buy a house mm -hmm. and what procedures we went through mm -hmm. in terms of buying the house mm -hmm. and um, to the point that we ended up living in that house. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I uh, could briefly give it to my Gushungo to go into the topic, then uh, at some point I will come in uh, and add more. So, over to you, my Gushungo. Okay, hello, hello, Wachere. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for subscribing. Tungo uh, Chingamiza with all the four corners from our team to join up and this program. And we do appreciate support. I'm a good person. It's for my name. It's number six. Zogapano. Saga Chango Ti. Kunama Wanyoa. I'm to join up a program. Chagambo discussed before on another video. You can always look back on the video. Chagambo is that we were evicted. One week is in it. Yes, I guess also I got to show you good to shandy to balance them. I go to this will not ever happen again. But I guess which way it was not like our fault as a bad event, but because quite a bad luck agents somewhere there, my youngest guy in square through the land or to that bad mortgage again. Saga will lend our lesson with the a strategic education one of the boss. I got to was a Magarata get after a papa. Saga we managed to save up some money to she Roger working at saving up to charge a mortgage and uh. I think Gushungo, you had more information about your mortgage. That's not the boss of your mortgage. So I think Gushungo, look into it and we discuss it as a family unit. This is the right process. I think I eat it. I think I deposit it. And we look for a lawyer who has a good support. But the process because we're quite new anyway. And the apana and our one that is the one that's mortgage. I think a lawyer and the other was out to San Angu that's what you want to say and all the steps and i think i'll end up with gushungo because i think you did most of the part yeah thank thank you my gushungo um at that time if i remember mm. um i did share that information at work with one of my colleagues mm -hmm. um that lady she comes from zimbabwe mm -hmm. she felt sorry for myself my mm -hmm. family and what we were going through mm -hmm. then she said you know what um i've recently uh, applied for my mortgage. Mm. I've got my mortgage. I, I think I've got this mortgage advisor. Mm -hmm. uh, if you contact him, you might be able to help you in applying for a mortgage. Mm. So I was given that number. Straight away when I got home, I shared the news with my Gushungo. Mm -hmm. I contacted that gentleman. Yeah. Um, that gentleman set up an appointment for me. The following week, I went to see him. We gave him all the documents he required from, you know, pay slips and everything else, proof mm. of address and everything else, passports, isn't it? passports mm. you know, all the documents that were required. Then uh, he advised us to start looking for a loan for deposit and we mm. started looking for a variety of loans from the likes of uh, Black Horse, which was uh, another company by Lois TSB Bank. Mm -hmm. uh, we got another loan as well, I think, from Welcome Finance. Yeah. We got another loan as well from Barclays, mm -hmm. just to make sure that we had enough yes. uh, money to purchase our property. Mm -hmm. um, including our savings. Uh, including our <laughs> savings, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. So the property, uh, I had gone around mm. uh, several months, I think, good mm. good two months looking for properties, mm. Andover, Basingstoke, uh, mm. Bracknell, mm. Uh, not necessarily Reading. I didn't mm. want to, to go and live in Reading. Mm. Uh, there was one property that I did like in Andover. I think mm. it was a four-bed yeah. house. Yeah, um, very nice house. Yeah, very nice house, big. Mm. Uh, it was uh, priced at 149.99. Mm. Yeah, we had accepted the house and everything else. Mm. When we were going through the final processes, mm. the owner, the seller, decided to withdraw the house from the market. Mm. So, what could I do? I had mm. to find another alternative 
uh, property. Mm -hmm. So I had another property that I had also viewed in Basingstoke, mm -hmm. uh, where we currently re live right now. Um, that property was priced at one forty-five thousand. Oh, you remember? Can you remember? Yeah. So <laughs> when we negotiated, it came down mm -hmm. to one hundred thirty-nine ninety-nine. Mm -hmm which you know the owners again they were mm. desperate for sale mm. because they had bought another house uh, so it was like a perfect fit at the right time mm. you know within one week everything was well processed mm. uh, should be may 2007 mm -hmm. uh, that's when we we moved into yeah. this three bed property mm -hmm. uh, my sonate in mm. basingstoke mm -hmm. uh, we've never lived in basingstoke but mm -hmm. we fell in love with basingstoke yeah. um, m3 junction 6 mm. um, yeah it's, it's a great place to live mm. we have been living in basingstoke ever since yeah. um, that time uh, 2007 up to now mm. um, and we have um, enjoyed uh, our stay here yeah. um, so that's how we got mm. to own a property in the UK. Yes. Uh, we were not given land. Mm. <laughs> what happens <laughs> in Africa where you get <laughs> land and mm. you build a house now? Mm. It wasn't like that. Mm. But uh, we obviously uh, did yeah. apply for yeah. mortgage loan yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And that's how we ended up getting our uh, property. Um, we had our second child in that property and um, yeah, our, yeah, our kids are all grown up now. Mm. They're all in secondary school, which is mm. really lovely. Yeah. yeah, so I'll give it to my Gushungo to just yeah. add on a few bits. Yeah, like we just said, the house that it was unfinished. So you can imagine to my sister, but I forgot to my service, the same about Tengemba, Murgushiga Mumba. Tangatine property do a chair, but whatever the entire way and I saga come in that big house yet a gala, was a garam one. It was one bedroom, this and one yeah. bedroom yeah. flat. Toya garam three bedroom machine, it saga to fill up. It was a really big challenge for us. And the Tango Tanga, as you wish, I want to take a cinema because most of our savings, the end of the kind of mortgage. But we really enjoyed it because it was something big for us. But as the neighbor service to Tanga Patch never on Bichana and Bichana. We were building up, uh, so that was a really our great achievement, and we've never looked back. Because no matter what happens, at least no one is going to take this away at Sumbo. If it's put as well, it's also the future. No one is now protected. So I think, yeah, that was a really, really good investment for us, uh, and I think that's it, really. Yeah, I, yeah. I will encourage you to. Mm. Uh, apply for a mortgage, mm. whether it's a small property, one bed, two mm. bed, mm. Uh, secure yes. your funds. Mm. There's no point you paying every month mm. to a landlord uh, mm. who probably in the end will mm. evict you. Mm. But if you have your own house, mm. you have peace of mind. Yes. You know, yes. you're rest assured, mm. you know, our kids are growing up, we'll leave mm. this house for them. Mm. Um, it's in, you know, it's really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, I I think that's what we wanted to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, how we managed to buy a house, mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, to the stage where we are today, um, which is probably more than ten years now. Is it? Yeah. It's more than ten mm. years now. Mm. Mm. So yeah, from UK, two six three UK generation. Your channel, my channel, we come here to educate and entertain. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and, and share. share. Goodbye. Bye.